Hi, Leah. Welcome into your reading. Yes, I think I'm going to um, keep reading for you guys on a weekly basis, but I do need you guys to leave me comments to help grow your cohort and grow this group. Um, likes and sharing and subscribing. I just got to find a day that I keep issuing your videos because Taurus and Aries go on Saturdays, Capricorns go on Thursdays, Pisces Wednesdays, and Tuesdays typically are Aquarius. So let me know. Maybe you could be the Monday uh, group. Um, all right, the Eight of Cups in reverse came out. So I don't know if you are going back to somebody or somebody is coming back to you. We'll see. It just fell out while I was shuffling. And I, I like to read those cards because everything is a sign for me. Everything. The other day I was writing an email to a boss and then my computer or like the, the thing started glitching. I was like, oh, oh, maybe I shouldn't send this. <laughs> and I'm glad I didn't because... Something happened with another coworker, and I was like, oh, shit, that could have been me. So I take signs seriously. Anyway, neither here nor there. June, second week for um, Leos. What's their situation, please? Do I have this upside down? No. Do I? Maybe. It doesn't matter. You have the two of pentacles uh, upright. Um, I'm just turning these, some of these cards upright. You're juggling something. You're at a crossroads. You're flip-flopping between two situations. Should I, should I not? Should I, should I not? Um, this or that. Um, it's not like you're torn between two things. It's like you're, you're trying to juggle two things. It's like you're trying to keep two balls in the air. It's not sustainable. Mm -hmm. I'm, I mean, you know this, so but you're just doing this. Can I have um, another card just to get more of the situation for the second week for Leo, please? Seven of Pentacles, the eight. Oh, okay. I see now. All right. So on the table is the possibility of something that's formal. Um, traditional, like dating, uh, courting somebody to be in a relationship. It's it's formal. It's it's like you you introduce them to friends and family. You introduce them, you know, to everybody. You're like boyfriend girlfriend kind of situation. I'm not saying that's what you're at. I'm saying there's an opportunity for love here for that. There's a fresh new start in love, and it really kind of looks like a newish person or a new situation regarding love. But the Seven of Pentacles talks about you pausing and reflecting. Should you invest in this? Should you spend more time into this? You could be thinking about somebody else that you invested a lot of time and energy in. And it's affecting your decision-making process. This is why you have the Two of Pentacles. This is what you're flip-flopping over. Um, you could be sustaining both temporarily. You could be giving one person, you know, peanuts and breadcrumbs while you figure out something else, or that could be being done to you, Leo. Now, what's coming into Leo? What's coming towards them, please? You guys are sort of like in this place right now during Gemini season, sort of in this analytical mode. The thing is, the universe is really trying hard to shift your life. They're trying to bring in new energy to you. Um, because you guys are really meant to be lucky in love right now. Uh, or in your relationships in general. There's some opportunities the universe is trying to throw your way. But they don't want you distracted. They don't want you thinking about the past. They don't want you... that That's done. They want you on this fresh path, this new journey. Because they have some blessings in store for you. And Gemini season typically puts everybody in this analytical mode. Um, but now with new moon, or is it the moon going into Aries? I don't know what kind. Of, it's a new moon or full moon. I don't know. Either new or full. It doesn't matter. It's going into en the Aries energy of the moon, meaning it's active. Uh, Aries typically is an action-oriented type of sign. Uh, I mean, so are you because you're both fire signs, but they're led by Mars. So with that said, that energy influenced with Gemini 
it's taking action behind your thoughts but before you take those actions you're analyzing so the seven of cups again another seven this is the second seven sevens are pausing and reflecting it just depends on the energy and this one is a cup it's feelings which one do you think is right which one do you think is good for you and then you have this king of swords the king of swords is somebody who you know is cerebral smart intelligent you also have the queen of swords this is a set and remember i just got done telling you about gemini season these are air sign energies it don't matter though because this tells me you are a set a king and queen are you know receptive on the same line it's like okay you're not sitting at the little kids table you're sitting at a table that's meant for kings and queens and then they're like the maids and and the pages and the knights they're over there they're, they're sitting over there and this is not in the reverse the thing is it's they're both from the same element which means you're both in this energy you're trying to be fair balanced honest both of you you're both analyzing you're both being analytical you're both doing it so i don't know if you're mirroring one another we'll see when we clarify but you're definitely thinking about it do you invest in this or not i'm just telling you you're both matching energies moreover you're vibing on the same frequency so you're both at the same caliber if that makes any sense to you six of cups in reverse this is not someone from your past this is not a past thing this is something new that you're embarking on because the past is behind you what is it that leo doesn't see coming their way please you know this can be applied in terms to your job to your career maybe you have a new opportunity in your office maybe you have a new job maybe it's talking about your colleagues or your friends of course this can be your love life i mean i know most of you the bulk of you it is in regards to your love but life well let's see five of pentacles talks about being left out in the cold it can be job loss or just loss of money um page of scepters which is the page of wands curious curious little bee curious little kid it's the kid that graduates college and then now they got the world before them the, the world is their oyster so they're curious it's the little kid in a bumble gum shop that has 350,000 flavors oh my god that's the page of wands but the page of wands does the work of the night hold that for a second I'm gonna go back and put it all in perspective um, and then I have the, I'm blind, sorry. Oh, Page of Cups, another page. Page of Cups is somebody who, again, sends messages for a night, but on an emotional level. Like here, a page, send this message. It's like a text message. It's like an email. It's not like picking up the phone and talking. It's just like, boop, small little message. Five of Pentacles is just somebody putting you out in the cold and or maybe you're doing it too because cards are energy so it could be talking about you or the other person but it's like messaging somebody here and wondering the reaction of it you're okay this is why the page of wands is here because at the bottom of the deck is the star card it's being hopeful it's being positive um it's being optimistic optimistic it's being wishful um but i'm wondering why you're you're going to be left out in the cold or feeling this way and then you're curious about some kind of message that you want to see the response of or somebody sent you a, a response and it makes you curious you're wondering and it's making you hopeful so maybe something shitty happens and then you get this message and you're like oh my god maybe this can turn around um what is the advice here for leo tower okay five of cups in reverse okay and ooh the sun which is your card and the eight of swords okay 
you are not stuck okay leo maybe you think you are maybe you're stuck in a loveless marriage maybe you're stuck at a job and you need the money maybe you're stuck in jail maybe you're just stuck 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 you're not stuck okay it's about choices it's about making moves in your life you're not truly stuck no one's actually holding you there it's in your mind um that's what the eight of swords represents so please take what i'm saying with a grain of salt and let's also go back into the position that it's falling in which is your advice now at the back of your mind you've got you you've got the sun which is your energy and it's like you want to be happy of course everybody does but the five of cups in reverse talks about the way you will achieve that and the way you will get there is look at your current abundance you have options you have other opportunities someone else is interested in you leo stop looking at the loss and look at what you have because what you have you can turn into something tenfold it's like you're looking at the three cups in front of you that you lost which could be a relationship could be a job could be money could be a project could be your house could be something but behind you you got two full cups if you turned around you could turn those two into four and then those four into eight and then that eight into 16, you get my point. You gotta turn around and just look at what you do have. Something fell apart. Something, big fight, a breakup, a job loss, something bad. Because you had the five of pentacles. These cards are aligning. These cards are making sense to me. You have the tower. The tower naturally comes after the five of pentacles. This means whatever cracked in your foundation, let it go. It needs to crumble. Even if it's like somebody that you were in a shitty relationship with, you got to let them go. I'm not saying don't be with them for the rest of your life, but they got to come in correct. They got to come in right. They got to go do their homework and dig deep and look at their shadow side and clean it the fuck out before they come back to you. What are you, the cleanup crew? So they can learn off of you and be like a goddamn pigeon and fly off into the sunset and shit on you as they fly away to find someone else after you help them? no so we're gonna clarify all these things but i'm pretty damn sure at, at some point you're probably gonna get the empress or some other card like leah i mean the the strength card that's probably gonna show me your worth and your value at this point because something in your foundation is cracking and it's saying let it go don't even pine over it with the five of cups in reverse look at your happiness you can see the positive side of something if you focus on what you do have and using that for your advantage you're not really stuck stuck is like not making choices right like my boss treats me like shit at work i'm i feel like i need the paycheck i have to do this i have to do that but my my boss i'm using an example i'm not saying that's really what's happening i'm gonna put my fucking resume out there because i'm done i'm done and I, it, it's just toxic for me. It's not a healthy situation. If I'm in this relationship and I'm more worried than I am more happy, or I'm reflecting on sadness and feeling sad more than I'm feeling happy, what am I doing? Of course, it's time to get my ass unstuck. I don't care if I'm married. I don't care how bad it is. I mean, maybe it's just me because I'm impulsive, but I'm trying to make a point that, Leo, you're never truly stuck. You have a support team. You have a support system. That's the five of cups in reverse. Tell you got shit you have available to you. Um, what's the outcome for the week? Six of wands, much better because fives are not cool, but it looks like you're progressing quickly off the fives. Why are the fives like a thing for me? Because the fives are in the middle of, you know, your, your aces to your tens. All right, and tens are endings. Fives are the difficult things in our life. They're the challenges, they're the hardships. They're the um, difficulty and the challenges that we deal with in life. They suck, they really suck. So you, you have midweek your five of pentacles here. In your advice, you're like, take that, turn it around and five of cups in reverse, invert it, look at your other options look at the other things that you have abundant in your life here are the tens look how we're progressing boop, boop, boop. and then the six the six of wands over here which talks about progressing after the fives the challenges 
this is success. This is vindication. This is validation. This is what I was talking about. If I don't see an Empress or a Leo card, but this, those are major comes. This is the minor version of that. Yes. This is somebody vindicating you, validating you. Job well done, Leo. Job well done. This person comes back, Leo, I think I need you in my life. I think I fucked up. I'm sorry. That It's that kind of vibe. It's that kind of energy. Uh, and Ten of Wands. Um, Ten of Wands discusses burdens, challenges. Not challenges like the fives, but burdens. Uh, a lot of work. A lot of exhaustion. So if this is work related, you're going to get vindicated for your hard work, uh, but it is exhausting and you are putting in a lot of labor. If this is love related, it's like pulling teeth to be vindicated and validated, it's like pulling teeth for them to notice you and do all this, but they do, uh, but it's like a burden for you. It's, it's like a struggle, nine of wands, because somebody here is probably emotionally guarded. Um, Let's start clarifying some of these cards. I find this these decks very interesting. I think this is called the Mersai deck. This is what Tarot looked like when it first in, was invented. Uh, I think it was, was it France or England? Um, with the Medici's. Yes. And they notice, if you know any of the history of Tarot, the history of Tarot is that they were playing decks for uh, kings and queens in court. And then some of them, I think the Medici's were like, oh my God, this shit is like telling us the future. This shit is telling us about our lives. And then they were like, oh, it's the Tarot. <laughs> That's why there's kings, queens, pages, and knights in these decks. And then there's the minor comes with the pentacles and the cups and the blah, 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 which is interesting and fascinating. I love symbolism anyway. Um, but modern times, we use the Rider weight, And so now we're going to clarify it with this. For my Leo. Sorry for that little stupid lesson, but I just thought it was fascinating. Why is the higher font here? Ace of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Death. Something has ended. And now you're thinking about it. Something has ended. Totally, because I'm seeing Tower and Five of Pentacles, and now you're thinking about, damn, I put a lot of time and energy in that shit. I really, really did. Hmm. Marriage, commitment, something. And now there is on the table a fresh new start in love. Someone is definitely coming forward to talk to you on an emotional level. A night. It will heal the scars. This could be closure about the ending and the betrayal. Um, but this is down the line right now on the table is what's going on in your week, the second week of June. What is the king and queen of swords with the seven of cups, please? You have a new opportunity, something solid. Take it to the bank and cash it. Jesus Christ. This is something amazing. Listen, I know you're focused right now with the chariot over here. Maybe some of you guys are buying a car or road trip when we talk actual when the cards quite literal but you have two aces ace of pentacles ace of wands you have this new start that's solid and it's a passionate new beginning i might add others of you this is a creative new project in a new job or a promotion or something it's excellent and now you're sitting here trying to think what is your right option and it's definitely something to do with another person it seems solid, guys. It seems solid. I told you before, if you rewind this video and you go back and I said the universe is trying to work on something for you, new to come in for you to go on a new path. This is part of your journey of life. Um, it's trying to do this. This is why you have an ending here. What's the five of pentacles and the two pages? Let's see here. The fool. That makes sense, which is an Aries energy. Ooh. And the Page of Pentacles. Okay, so there was a situation here with someone or something where it has gone as far as it could go. Okay, so if it was a life lesson or a learning lesson, you learn the lesson, you're done, you're, you're ready to go. Quite literally, it's like going to college, you graduated, you're done. Now it's time to learn something else, something new. 
um, if this is a relationship, you hit a brick wall, you're bored, you're done. Are we moving on? Are we not? This is what's clarifying the five of pentacles with the two pages. This is someone younger than you, or this is, you know, just immature energy. It's just done. All right. And the fool represents you taking a leap of faith and a risk and cutting those cords and leaving this behind and moving into a new direction. Here's the eight of swords again. Remember before I told you you're stuck, but not really stuck. Let me explain it even more clearly. Do you see this chick in the card? This is you, whether you're male, female, or whatever, you know, your pronoun is. Um, she can wiggle out of those ropes that she has bound in front of, on her body. They're loose. She could get out. And then she could take off the blindfold when she gets loose from this, right? And then when she sees that the swords are not actually in front of her, they're behind her, she can walk free. It's like being in jail, but the door is open. The door is fucking open. You just think you're not because you can't see. You're you're blindfolded. You think you're stuck. You're not. You're really not. That's why the universe is telling you in your advice position, the tower, let it go. New shit. New shit. <laughs> I wish I could put that in the title, but I can't. <laughs> tower. Five cups in reverse, sun. If you're resisting this or you are um, being defensive, do not. And this is talking about letting go of something. Just hone in your, your energy and, you know, just spend a few quiet nights with yourself and really think, what is it that you want? Uh, making, make that wise decision for yourself. What is this burden over here at the outcome with the Six of Wands? This is about a lover. Lovers is a choice. And walking away from them. So it's at the back of your mind if you should walk away. Yeah, a lover is always going to be a, a burden. It's always going to be difficult. It's casual. It's in and out. Now I'm wondering, I can't wait to see what the romance angels are going to say about this. Because I'm curious to know what this is. I don't know if you have a new opportunity that's actually solid, Leo, but you're keeping it casual or if it's vice versa, they're keeping it casual because there is some success here. All right. But someone at the back of their mind is thinking about leaving the lover for, I, I, there's thousands of you guys. So, you know, it's different for all of you. Lovers is a choice. Lovers is this profound connection, this deep ass bond you have with someone, but something's going on in one of your external environments that's making you feel like you can't be the right fit. Maybe there's an age discrepancy. Maybe you are of different backgrounds. Um, maybe one person's married. You get my point. Uh, but at the back of your mind, it's a burden. You have an opportunity to have a relationship for sure. Because I see the king and queen of scepters over there. I don't know if this lover is that person. Or if this is a lover that you've been dealing with in your recent past. And this is the one that needs to go away. Yeah, the, I see the six of wands where they're vindicating you. And the, make no mistake, the lover is definitely vindicating you and validating you. They're calling you back. They're letting you know some shit. But that's like neither here nor there. Sure, it feels good. Sure, it's an ego boost. But do they still want what you want? Like, or, or are they just keeping you around just, just to figure it out? Or maybe they're not ready to let you go. They got to know. I mean, your your advice is simple. Let whatever the fuck broke up that, that ended, let it go because you have something new coming in. All right, let's see what the romance angels have for you, Leo, please. Leo, please. Oh, snappy doodah, guys. Yes, this is your soulmate. I'm going to give you who is their soulmate. This is what we do in the extended readings, but we only do extended readings for members only. But just curious, let's just see who's soulmate here for Leo, please. 
Ooh, five of cups in reverse, where you have the five of cups in reverse in your advice position. Wow, the king of cups in reverse and the lovers in reverse. Okay, it's clear to me. It is clear to me that you're dealing with somebody who's emotionally unavailable. All right, and then there is somebody else who is. So, you know who this is for you. The Wisdom House tonight. Let's see what advice you have for my beautiful Leos. Uh-huh. Fragmented. All right. This is an important message. I want you guys to really hear this. I'm going to read from the book, Fragmented. And this is part of the enlightenment portion of the reading anyway. So fragmented talks about you feeling like you're not whole, like you're broken up into a million different pieces. And it's interesting because when I first saw it, I, it made me think of that saying that when you try to go back to an ex, it's like a fragmented mirror, a broken mirror. You're going to try to glue that back together again, but you're only going to cut yourself doing it. Sometimes it seems that life is split into so many parts and all of them separate and difficult to bring together. Family, friends, work, study activities can all seem unrelated to each other. My child, you're always whole. Even if at times things feel separate and fragmented, that's only an illusion. Choosing this symbol reminds you that all the moving parts of your life are important. If the one you're asking about seems confusing, focus on the one that does bring you clarity. Be here, be now, and know that I, the universe, love you and see you as beautiful and whole, regardless of how disconnected things seem right now. Also, remember to take a step back when you're trying to understand something. You might be looking at it in one piece of a giant puzzle, a fragment of the truth. See the big picture through my eyes, and no matter what, all will be well. Fragmented. Beautiful. All right, guys, this is what I have for you this week. Please leave comments uh, that will help your cohort grow and let me know how you feel about doing these readings and you can let me know which day of the week you want to see them. All right, I'll see you on the next one.